Housing, health care, and Red Hill, just some of the issues Native Hawaiian leaders discussed today. U.S. Senator Brian Schatz held a meeting to address the concerns of the Native Hawaiian community. KITV4's Ali'i Duklo explains what Hawaiian leaders want to see from the federal government. Native Hawaiian community leaders thankful to Senator Brian Schatz Wednesday for what they say he has done for the Hawaiian people, namely providing record funding of more than $270 million for Native Hawaiians since he became chairman of the U.S. Senate Committee on Indian Affairs two years ago. And it is just the beginning of what we need to accomplish. At the forefront of what still needs to be accomplished, housing for Native Hawaiians. Hawaiian Homelands Commission Chairman William Isla points to the latest data showing 15% of Native Hawaiian households experience overcrowding compared to 8% of other residents. I have three generations living in my household. Isla adds 1,300 acres of land would be needed to house the weightless beneficiaries on Oahu alone. Federal agencies use 1,400 acres of Hawaiian homelands. Rather than waiting for federal lands to free up, Isla proposes Congress appropriate funds for the Department of Hawaiian Homelands to purchase land. Which will occur much quicker and give us the flexibility to find lands that are close to existing infrastructure, lands that are not greater than 20% in elevation, and lands that we don't have to do off-site construction. Too many of our families are moving away from our islands. Over half of our population now call home outside of Hawaii. The Office of Hawaiian Affairs had its own list of requests for Senator Schatz in the committee. Persisting in the accelerated defueling and closure of the Red Hill fuel storage tanks. Four, funding environmental assessment and cleanup of sacred lands polluted and contaminated by the United States military. Senator Schatz is set to hold another discussion with Native Hawaiian leaders on the Big Island Thursday. Aali Iduklo, KITV4 Island News.